DAC, as the program director has said, we, we, we thank all of you. We thank the South African community. We thank everybody. Please, please, please. NET belongs to all of us in South Africa and Africa. Thank you. Um, we came to know each other very well in New York and came to love each other uh, from New York. Only one remaining. But another coincidence is that there was a brother, I think Moses, who attended Eventually, they emerged victorious. I used to call them Sunday sermons, and I will never miss them. Some of my ideas were formed because of those Sunday sermons that I followed without failure. At this point, I want to invite the men who conducted those Sunday sermons, Matata Tzedu. Please, uh, can you come and address us? Thank you, Master of Ceremonies. Uh, good afternoon, uh, brothers and sisters. Good afternoon. Okay. Um, Minister, the MEC, the uh, Deputy Mayor, uh, everybody else who is here, uh, I stand here on behalf of the South African National Editors Forum, um, and there's a message that I will read on behalf of SANEF. But I want to take two minutes and make a personal observation. Like Ned, I'm a Neiman Fellow too. I went to Harvard and sat in the same rooms that he sat. And one of the first things that I did when I got to Lipman House, which is where the foundation's offices are, was to pull Nat's file and sit down and read what he wrote whilst he was a Neiman Fellow. It was touching stuff of a man who was longing for home. A few months down the line, I took the trip from Boston with my family and we went to Fencliff Cemetery to go and see where Ned was lying. And that's when I realized he's lying just a few meters away from Malik Al-Shabazz, otherwise popularly known as Malcolm X. And they had met in life in Tanzania when Ned was waiting for a Tanzanian passport so that he can go and uh, take up his fellowship. So on that day, as we stood at Fencliff, I made a pact with myself that when I come back home here, we're going to try and see whether we can bring Ned back home. Because from everything that I had read that he had written when he was there, his heart was here, his body was there, and he was not happy with that situation. So I, I stand here today quite emotional when I see the police who in years gone by would have been stopping Ned and asking him for a dom pass, escorting him back home here today. It's, it becomes too much. But the message from Sanif, Mam Gladys, it's been a long journey. Not just this one from New York to Etequini, but from Ned's departure, his tragic death, the hopelessness of his lying in a grave so far away, the hopes kindled by the world of South African journalism that said today could be possible, the ups and downs of nearly 20 years of efforts to bring him home, the yearly rituals of awards and the pain of remembering 
and wishing and hoping to last week, Mum Gladys, at Fencliff Cemetery, and then today. I can imagine your emotions and what it would have meant, Mama, as you saw the plaque that simply read, Nathaniel Nakasa, journalist, Neiman Fellow, South African. I think, as Diana Ferris wrote about Grandma Bartman in 1998 in the poem, Poem for Sarah Bartman, you too, Mama, would have been saying to Ned, quote, I have come to take you home. I have come to soothe your heavy heart. I offer my bosom to your weary soul. I will cover your face with the palms of my hands. I will run my lips over lines in your neck. I will feast my eyes on the beauty of you. And I will sing for you. For I have come to bring you peace. What remains, close quote, what remains beyond here today are the rituals and ceremonies and festivities filled with tears and celebration. Tears of anger at the brutality of apartheid that could deny so young a soul a chance to learn and improve himself. Celebration of a short life, but a life whose impact as Reverend Manke Kulumashangu Ngobo said on Friday in New York, the impact of that short life is eternal. But Ned is at peace now. When that plane touched down on Mother Africa today, peace for Ned reigned. As the world of South African journalism through SANEF, the Neiman Society of Southern Africa, and Print and Digital Media South Africa, it is a proud moment that vindicates our efforts to keep his name alive through the years with the Ned Nakasa Award for Courageous Journalism. It is also a moment for which the role of our government in making today and tomorrow until the 13th possible has to be acknowledged. NET is our own as a nation, and all the efforts of so many in all levels of government and outside to make today possible show that we will indeed go to the end of the world to get our own back, to give peace to the wandering souls of South Africans lying in strange lands. Places must also go to the former Minister of Arts and Culture, Paul Mashatile, and former Premier of KwaZulu, Zueli Mkize, who embraced the idea and gave it impetus on behalf of their respective divisions of government. Minister Mtetwa, the representative of uh, Premier Mtunu, the representative of the Executive Mayor of Tequini, please convey our heartfelt gratitude to your colleagues for assisting with this enormous task. Amanda. Thank you, Mr. Tsaidu, for these words. Um Osipe Ona this afternoon. And we also at this point want to recognize the role of SANF, the South African National Editors Forum for really keeping the name Net Nakasa alive. I'm sure many of us will know it through SANEF. If maybe they did not do that, I'm sure the name Net Nakasa was not going to be known. And that is why I will ask for your indulgence here. I've been asked, and I thought maybe I need to agree, to ask Uba about George Lole to please come and just say a few words. Uh, George Lole, if you can just come, acknowledging the role that you played in your organization, Ubawa Matata said, you said, you said, but you said, 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 you
Minister Mthetwang. The representatives of the Premier of KwaZulu Natal. The representatives of the Mayor of Etekwene. Allow me to address my brother. For way to net. Welcome back home. Welcome to your fatherland. Welcome to our fatherland. You are now back with your ancestors on African soil. You are no longer a native of nowhere. Mammoth ladies, family Garnet, Abunakasa Boanke, we thank you. We hope you will finally find closure. Net lying in Chesterville will be a symbol, a symbol of what should never ever happen again in our land. We should never ever limit freedom of expression, freedom of movement, or freedom of association. But the beauty of this day is that Net Nakasa and all the other heroes that fought for our liberation have been vindicated. What was once just a dream in Net's mind, very prophetic mind, is now real. It's enshrined in the country's constitution. I also want to thank the people who have made this moment possible. Somebody who hasn't been mentioned, Mamu Tedis, very well, O'Gail Garrett, Umatata Tedu, who drove us until this day became real. Former KwaZulu Natal Premier Zuelim Kese, who embraced the idea and made us run with it. But for journalists, this minute says, let's reflect on his work. Let's, stop, uh, let's not stop asking the difficult questions, even if it is dangerous to ask those questions. I remember Ned speaking at a conference at Vets University in 1963. He said, the writer can take his chance, bow to the social pleasures and conventions and the letter of the law. Or he could refuse to confine himself and refuse to allow officialdom 
to regulate his personal life. The writer will face the consequences of his choice. and the rest be damned. He made his choice and he faced the consequences like a courageous writer would. Thank you. The two previous speakers, I'm sure all of you will have known what I was talking about when I say at least my generation then, we used to wait for what they had to say to all of us who are formed by their opinions, by their activism. We want to thank both of them and wish them good health and they, uh, and they must continue doing a very good work that they are doing to conscientize our nation. We will now proceed. Um, I'm told there is a group that is going to be coming to give us an item. I don't see their name here. But whilst they are coming, uh, I must make an announcement here that after this short ceremony, we are going to ask the political leadership and maybe SANEF leadership as well to be available for a press conference in, an, in, in, in case journalists would like to, or members of the media, like to pose questions to them. So that has been arranged. Uh, it seems to me that this group is not here. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm not sure. Thank you. Mm. Yeah, well. One, two. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Ooh. 